I have made a grave mistake. My study of the darkness of the heart began with a simple psychological test and quickly snowballed. Spurred on by my youngest apprentice, Ienzo, I constructed a massive laboratory in the basement of my castle. Unbeknownst to me, my six apprentices then began collecting a large number of subjects on which to perform dangerous experiments into the darkness of the heart. As soon as I found out, I called my apprentices together and ordered them not only to cease their studies, but to destroy the results of their research thus far. What on earth was happening within the hearts of my six beloved apprentices? While pursuing the mystery of the darkness of the heart, could they themselves have strayed into its depths? Yet I remain the most foolish of all, for having begun these experiments. We are not meant to interfere in the depths of another person's heart, no matter what our reasons for doing so. And my error plunged me into despair. A visitor from another world soothed my dejected soul. A tiny king named Mickey came wielding a legendary key, the infamous Keyblade, said to bring both chaos and prosperity to the world. He was very knowledgeable on many topics, and we deepened our friendship as we conversed companionably. Upon his advice, I decided to review the data obtained at my basement lab. That is when I discovered the Ansem Reports. Though they bore my name, the only one I had written was number zero. Apparently, he had gone on to pen numbers one through eight himself. Yes, the first subject in my foolish experiments. Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 on the PlayStation 4, the final mix, the critical mode. This is episode nine in the last episode. We fully had Sora for the entire thing. We got here to a Twilight Town tower after being rescued by King Mickey and we ran into a new villain of sorts? Pete, now we are going and looking for a teacher. A teacher of sorts, Yin Sid. Who apparently taught the one, the only King Mickey. Yeah, and by the way, Heartless are back. Let's deal with them, let's continue on. They only give, Shadows only give one experience of peace, so like, whatever, whatever. Defeat all of the Heartless. You got it! We can just lay into them, no problem. Of course, Shadows can be annoying because they, you know, they go into the ground and do their normal thing that they've always done in every game that we've ever fought a Shadow in. There's no real difference here with any of these enemies. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we should actually have more powerful Heartless spawning in any second now, which would be, which should be really nice because these guys don't give us much. They don't give us much. Alright, any items around? Can we break these statues? No, you can't. I love how this is like, this goes downstairs. <laughs> this goes upstairs. The Wayward Stairs. Kill these dudes real quick. Oh, you're wasting all of your MP, my dear, my dear Donald. My, my dear Donald, look at these stairs. These are great. This whole tower is so cool looking. It's probably why the Heartless haven't gotten it to him yet. Or maybe they have. There we go, now we have a soldier involved. Oh, it's about time. Soldiers will give us a little bit more experience. They give us seven, they still go down just as easy as anybody else. Look at how much damage that shadow actually did. That was kind of weird. Yay, there we go, more soldiers, perfect. Oh, already dead, already dead. They also give us 14, ooh. Make sure that you use your reaction commands to kill them. You ha now have a reaction command called Cyclone which will actually instantaneously kill a soldier, and you'll still get the experience for doing it. Well, it's a good thing we're on the job then. So, the worlds aren't at peace after all? Huh. I guess not. Let's continue forward. This is the final staircase, my friends. The final staircase to the most powerful man, at least that we've met so far, Yin Sid. But first, we'll kill them, 
Get, get Goofy's strength increased. Hell yeah, Goof. Hell yeah, Goof. All right, now we can continue up. Let's go through this door. Master Lensing, Ensign Anna. Hey there. Show us, show some respect. So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... the key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade. You are the key that will open the door to light. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. What? Is it just me or does Yen Sid look super evil? Let's open this chest. Let's see what we can get. A tower map. All right. And we can go ahead and examine these books. They describe powerful spells. Pretty cool stuff. Well, all the mischief the king did years ago is recorded here. Now, you may remember Yin Sid from the short film that was included in the Fantasia animated compilation, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, in which, uh, well, Mickey worked for Yin Sid. Yeah, that happened. Let's go ahead and read the book. Which will we read? Let's reread The Beginning. The beginning. Each journey gives rise to chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell. When a farewell leads to a journey, the worlds open their hearts. There are those chosen by the light and those ensnared by darkness, friends who share the same bonds, though their paths may differ. When you doubt the path trod thus far, when the hand you held is lost to you, gaze anew at the heart that once was for all the answers are within. Hmm. Interlude. A long dream. A sad farewell hanging in the air in that world between. What is reality? What is illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. When caught in the stream of the days and nights going past, gaze anew at your steps, for there all confusion were end. The Future Story Will the day come when this battle, born of confusion, will end? It is different things to different people. Can the reality be that which is hidden? The reason is mere existence. Still, memories can be believed. Be not afraid. Entrust your body to the soothing waves of your memories. By and by, your fleeting rest will be over, and everything will begin. Woo! Woo! Okay, Yen Sid, what else you got, man? That book contains important knowledge. Be sure to read it. Do you have any questions? Actually... But 
Wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them Heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. <coughs> if one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The Heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a Heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. Now then, the being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of no body. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13. While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the King first. What world could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the King must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the Realm of Darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. That's what I've been saying. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gorse, Sora. You sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. 
<laughs> All right. We could read the book again if we so choose. We could talk to Yen Sid. You'll be departing after you've changed in the wardrobe. Take time now to prepare. Okay. All right, now we're ready. Let's go through this door and talk to the good fairies. Me, you guys, Riku, and the king. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah. Six. Who's six? That's weird. An image of you overcome by the power of darkness flows into your mind. Ooh. Let's grab this chest. A mithril stone, also used for synthesis. An image of you utilizing your strength to its fullest flows into your mind. Oops. An image of you utilizing your magic to its fullest. What about this? An image of you obtaining old powers flows into your mind. What about this one? An image of you possessing all abilities flows into your mind. An image of the Keyblade unleashing its ultimate power flows into your mind. Hmm. We've been told about you. Hurry up and try on your new clothes. That is, after you've prepared for your journey. Okay, let's talk to the blue. These clothes will help you only as much as your growth allows. Their true potential lies dormant. It's your job to unleash it. Once you've changed, you're off. Please. Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. Oh, that will never do. Oh, now, now, dears. But don't you like this better? Hold on. Are you certain? Blue. Oh. Ah. Uh, would you just decide? <gasps> oh. Well. Oh. <laughs> All right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh my. Oh, it's lovely. Oh yes. He does look very dashing. Oh, yeah. Now, those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Wow. Whoa. Oh, baby. Whoa. This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. <sighs> your garments also have other powers. But you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. Oh, and we get the Star Seeker. Increases maximum combo by one when in midair. Hell yeah, Valor Form. With Goofy's help, use the Drive Command to change into Valor Form. The Drive Command has been added. We'll see it on the bottom there. It is, as, it is powerful as it absorbs party members' strength, but party members disappear while you are transformed. We will be abusing this. We will be using it all the time. It is so powerful. You'll have amazing powers when you transform, but the process takes time. Even so, transforming will help you tremendously. It sure will, everybody. It sure will. These clothes have all kinds of powers. Just rely on your friends. You've already gained a new ability. These clothes must be meant for you. So we can go ahead 
And look at this, form abilities are fixed. By leveling up a form, these abilities can be used even out of that particular form. Yeah. Yeah. When in, f when in a form, a second weapon can be equipped. One keyblade with strength and abilities, and then you can turn into two keyblades. That keeps whatever it is. That's pretty darn strong, guys. That's pretty darn strong. So we can actually do this real quick, and you can actually see that Valor will use will actually end up using Star Seeker. Uh, I'm actually totally cool with that. That's totally fine for me. Um, it's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm not I'm not worried about that at all. Abilities. We can go ahead and see Valor. We now have Brave Shot, Brave Beat, Sonic Strike, Sonic, and Over the Horizon. Leap towards a target and a rapid attack. Omega Finale. Deal finishing combo moves in the middle of a combo with square and retaliating when knocked down quickly regains balance and counterattacks with square. We also have sync blade equips two in each hand uh, and high jump. We can now pre uh, jump a little bit higher when we when we have the form equipped everybody when we have the form equipped. So I think that's pretty cool. You can see your valor gauge. You can see that it actually has its own levels and experience. Trust me. We will be leveling this up very, very shortly, and you will be able to see exactly what it is capable of doing. So let's go ahead and leave into the Sorcerer's Loft. Huh. Sora, I think you dropped something. Huh? It must have fallen out of your pocket. What is it? Part of a picture? Is this a gift too? Oh, we don't know anything about that. But if you found it in your pocket, it must have something to do with your adventure. Hold on to it, dear. In fact, you should you should hold on to any other pieces you come across on your journey. Hmm. I'll make sure to note them in my journal. You have obtained a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces are scattered all over the world. Some can only be accessed after learning a certain ability. You can now view collected pieces in Jimmy's journal. This is actually new to Final Mix. This was not in the original game. Uh, you can actually go to your journal now and check out Jiminy, who now has pieces. You can see this, Twilight Town. We have an awakening puzzle piece. Also worth mentioning, we got all of the maps that we can get in Twilight Town, which is kind of cool. Uh, and also, our treasures are looking pretty darn good too, but we haven't capped that out yet because obviously we don't have access to some areas in Twilight Town. All right, let's go ahead and go into the Sorcerer's Loft. So you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the gummy ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But, be warned, as you proceed, the Heartless and the Nobodies will be using their own paths, corridors of darkness, to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How does that feel? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Legend. 
We sure do appreciate the help. He disappeared in pure light. My goodness, what's that? <gasps> Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, <gasps> Malefa! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh, no. The memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? Perhaps we should tell Master Yen Sid. Yes, that's what we must do. Hurry. <laughs> Howdy, Sora. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? It's your favorite gummy engineers here, ready for duty. Chip and Dale. Yeah. Happy flying. Thanks, guys. Looks like we have one place Only to go. One? That's the jungle. Wait, I think it's a world we know. Use the left stick to fly, blah, 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 blah. We are going to land here real quick because I want to save. Yes. Oh, it's not going to let us. Oh, you jerks. Oh, we can save right here. All right, never mind. I didn't realize we could save on the world map. So in the next episode, we will arrive here in Hollow Bastion, everybody. Hollow Bastion. Now you can zoom around and look at all these worlds if you want. But nothing really going on here at all. You can also dash with the circle button to get to places a little bit quicker. But you'll see that there are some worlds here that we can't get to. Very, very interesting stuff. Such a cool, such a cool episode, man. Maleficent is back. Everybody's back. Oh, this is... Things are looking scary. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop it a like if you did. If you didn't, drop it a dislike, I guess. That's okay. Showing up on screen right now is a playlist for all of Kingdom Hearts 2, as well as a video that YouTube has chosen specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the darkness.